currently in Australia, we understand there's something like 105,000 homeless people. There are so many homeless people in Australia. And, you know, these people are our people and they're our responsibility. I think it's such a, a big undercurrent that people uh, in their normal lives don't realise how many homeless people there are actually in Sydney. Sydney Homeless Connect is all about connecting people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness with the services that they most desperately need. We're really just here to make them feel welcome as we open up Town Hall for the homeless community of Sydney. It's hard to access these services when you don't know what direction to take it in when you're homeless. The idea is that people can come in and access a whole range of services, personal services that they can get access to, like getting a haircut, a whole lot of medical services upstairs, as well as a whole lot of other service providers from the homeless sector. Free food, you've got clothes, you've got haircuts, you've got massages. Favourites are beanies. Most of the heat you, you lose from your, your feet, your hands and especially your head. So I've been going around for, for people having haircuts, um, offering them warm um, winter beanies. Sadly, I'm always left with the bright girly colours because the blokes, they like their earth tone. When everything's all in one place, you can find it easily and people can help you with other services that you didn't know you required. We do waste a lot of things in life. There's so many things that are going to good need right here. So I just think it's a great initiative. I've been managing the 280 registered volunteers coming through. We have specialist volunteers like doctors and nurses and those giving flu shots and uh, we've got dog washers. Uh, we've got people chaperoning the guests around the event and um, they're anyone and everyone. Everyone's having a really good time. All the volunteers are having a good time and all the people that, that need the help are having a really good time. I can see a lot of smiles. I've brought my teammate along, Tony Armstrong. Tony was commanding the shoes. I was looking after toiletries, socks, blankets, things like that. Today I'm a chaperone, so I'll be working one-on-one -on -one with any guests that come in, uh, helping them find any services that they require or just to sit and have a friendly chat. Uh, it's been good. I've been, uh, had a few Richmond supporters and Carlton supporters come and get stuck into us. And I walked up to this man and asked if he could help and he goes, I need size 12 shoes. And I'm like, okay, I'll get you some shoes. We found a perfect pair. And then he goes, please, you want to come upstairs and we'll have coffee. It was good. We are talking for a while. Anything from how's your day going, I expect to have heartfelt stories, um, quick stories. Someone might just say, hey, I need a coffee, where do I go? And I'll help them on their way to get a coffee. The best response to me about whether we're making a difference is that there's a number of people that came along here last year and the first year that we did it, and they've returned now to come as volunteers, to come and help other people out, and I think that's a lovely closed loop there. A lot of these people are helping each other, so if somebody needs a bag or a certain pair of jeans or you know a certain scarf or beanie, they're, they're wandering around helping each other. Yeah, I'm running with it, I believe in it. I believe in it, and I guess I'm one of a group of homeless people that are in volunteering. Last year I attended as a guest myself. Coming here I was able to access clothes for my children. I was able to access a personal connection with someone and basically left feeling loved and filled. We get all sorts of people through the doors today. We have families, we have people who are single mothers. It's really quite alarming how the face of that homeless person is changing quite quickly especially when you see the number of children that come with the statistics saying something like 18% of people who are homeless in Australia are under the age of 10. Homeless people aren't just the rough sleepers. I mean, we know that there's an extraordinary large number of people who don't have an address. They, they are couch surfing, they are staying over at mate's place and they have to sleep rougher in shelters. I think it's important to connect with everyone in the community, no matter what their family situation, no matter what their living situation. Everyone has a story, and when people do put down their walls, they have so much wisdom and experience. Everyone has an opportunity to really help uh, and give, give a little bit back. People are just here doing good because it's good to do something good. We're all human and we all need that love.